think it is realistic for school systems to buy local foods from farmers. I'm Jenny Henschen. I'm Nutrition Services Director at Bethel School District here in Eugene, Oregon. The wheels are in motion for um, developing an infrastructure where it becomes more convenient for us to buy local. What I would like to see is us kind of expanding our, our horizons a little bit and increasingly use less and less processed food, uh, buy local, and you know, get the best nutrition products we can in the school system for our kids. Whether it's uh, leeks or tomatoes or strawberries or asparagus, potatoes, they all have their seasons and they all have their place on plates in Oregon. My name is Paul Folkstead. I'm an instructor at the Western Culinary Institute Le Cordon Bleu in Portland. We educate a great many chefs around town and have for over 25 years. And we have, I think, an obligation to spread the love and share what's out there and share our knowledge, uh, whether it's to Portland Public Schools or schools around the state of Oregon. Kitchen sessions at Western Culinary are a great idea. My name is Jim Rowan. I'm the food service director at Astoria School District. It's really about driving the message forward that it's a lot more simple than you think. People don't even realize they've already taken the first step. They're not at zero. They're actually at, you know, plus whatever. They're already up there. Or they have the ability to be very, very quickly. Getting these cooks to understand that, wow, you know, I can do some scratch cooking. I'm not completely limited to the commodity products I'm given. And one or two hours a week of prep uh, it may save me a lot of time later on in the week and I'll have some really good product uh, in the end. I'm hoping to get some creativity and maybe start serving things that you wouldn't normally see in school. There's no way that there's another time that we can come together and actually be in a kitchen to actually share recipes, to meet people, to, to co-mingle and, and come together. And we as a school community need to do this more. Uh, I'm Chef Paul Folkstead. I'm an instructor here at Western Culinary Institute. We wanted to give back in some way and find a way that we could really get involved with the schools. More than a teaching program today and tomorrow, it's going to be sharing ideas and finding out what works and what's cost effective. And this baking kitchen is uniquely suited for what we're doing. We have a great amount of oven space, lots of uh, wooden table services to work on, plenty of stove space to do our stove work. We're gonna be frying up uh, polenta sticks, for example. And these kitchens are ideally suited to a learning environment. We've got a lot of different product to work with. The recipes that you have are batch recipes designed for 100 portions. We want you to get familiar with some, some scratch techniques that, that aren't that difficult. I think as a group we should get started. So many of us have lost that labor piece out of it. We've lost the ability to teach our people how to cook again. I mean, we do it at home every day, but when it comes on the scale of cooking for 3,000 kids in one school, it, it's a lot bigger situation, and it really is about a production kitchen. So it's how to minimize those steps. We're gonna to try to make a venti pizza today and make it very appealing to students. Well, we're both very interested in the farm to school program and we, we currently do work with local farmers in our school district and we want to see more than that. So I think we're going to be pushing uh, for our distributors to also work closer with the farms. The more people you know, the more you know. So I'm really happy I was able to get out here. I think everybody's walking out of here with some usable pieces that came out of it. I think they walk out of here invigorated a little bit more than they were in the past. I think that people definitely are, are smiling all day long and, and will continue to.
I think it's been a good exchange of information to get us in here and learn from professional chefs, but also there was an exchange of information where, you know, they got to learn what it's really like in the school. It's like, this is a great dish, but you know, hey, I gotta make 400 of these in three hours. Yes, we're a Le Cordon Bleu school, but we're really part of Oregon's community. to roast beef at the Culinary Institute and it was actually, um, I didn't know how easy it would be to do a large quantity like that. We're going to try serving them today. So the kids, it would be a first. What, what is that? They're beets with lemon and cinnamon. You want to try oh. some? Yeah. What would you like today? Uh, can I put it with this? Yes, I can. There you go. I think you can't just put a food out there and expect the kids to, you know, take it themselves. You gotta encourage them and tell them it's okay if you don't like it, then that's fine, but at least try it. I don't know what it tastes like. Well, there's only one way to find out. It kind of tastes like fruit with berries in it. Mine's more like strawberries. Mine tastes like chocolate. Grapes. I don't like them. Yummy! I kind of like the outside, but not kind of the inside. Are you going to eat it? I don't want to. All right, how does it taste? Good. It tastes pretty good. I think I underestimated how you know sophisticated the kids are in their taste. It actually went a lot better than I was anticipating. 60% took beets, and most of them tried them, and I would say half of the ones that tried it actually liked beets. One thing makes a huge change when you are stepping up to be, um, you know, to, to make this move. One item makes all the difference in the world. It makes a huge difference to that farmer, that's for sure. For the administrators, for the parents, and for the students, it's to try and get them to start asking for it more. The more you request, the more you ask, the more you say, this has to happen, the more it's going to happen. Yeah, I hope we're a model for the rest of the country and I hope many other Le Cordon Bleu schools and culinary schools around the nation will see this not only as a community outreach and community partnership, but a way to really make their cities better and their public schools better. What I enjoy the most is um, knowing that whatever important change that I make today or whatever improvements I can make, tomorrow it's going to affect 3,000 kids.